1873, the IMO, the predecessor of WMO, was founded here in Vienna. Main goal was standardizing the observation system and setting up commissions. The challenges of climate change posed an existential threat to human well-being in many parts of the world. A new approach is necessary to face these challenges. A new approach to see the Earth system as a whole and to consider meteorology, hydrology as cross-cutting issues in these discussions. WMO has to change quite a bit. WMO has to see the user needs in all parts of the world and to restructure itself in a way that's appropriate to that. To be successful, we're going to have to look at how we best govern ourselves, how we best organize our resources. This is something you asked us to do in uh, Congress in 2015. And so we've taken this challenge very seriously and we want to be for you as we go in the future, well-performing organization. And you'll see a meaningful difference over the next decade as a consequence of the decisions that we're going to take Si on doit faire une structure, il faut faire en sorte que maintenant les conseils régionaux, les pays membres trouvent leur compte à travers les résultats de cette réforme. Et de l'autre part, il faudrait que ces commissions techniques là aussi puissent travailler de manière équitable, c'est-à-dire qu'il y ait un respect aussi bien du côté jar que du point de vue répartition géographique. Il ne faudrait pas que seulement que ces commissions soient laissées à une catégorie de pays. Il faut que toute la communauté météorologique mondiale puisse retrouver sa, cette réforme. Je crois que la réforme couvre très bien eh, la impériosa nécessité que nous avons de vincular à la science avec les opérations. Elle couvre en deux miradas différentes. Pour un côté, avec la création d'un panel eh, assessor qui va donner sa mirada eh, visionnaire à propos de los temas de punta que pueden ser fundamentales para la meteorología, la hidrología y las ciencias conexas. Y por otro lado, porque va a tener una junta de investigación interna eh, con una eh, importancia sustantiva donde vamos a participar todas las regiones. Y en definitiva van a generar un círculo virtuoso que es importantísimo que reforcemos a partir de esta reforma. Todo lo cual me hace pensar que eh, ser muy optimista en relación al impacto positivo que esto va a tener sobre todos nosotros. It's clear to me that advances we make as a global community will be based on a collaborative embrace of weather, water, climate and ocean linkages. These linkages support the seamless prediction concept based on the earth system science approach applied across all climate, weather and water scales. This is the vision captured in the new strategic plan for the WMO. And it is also the strategic basis for the governance reform effort. من اجل ان تستمر المنظمه في القيام بدورها في ظل عالم تحصل به متغيرات طبيعيه وبشريه متعدده كان لابد لها من القيام باصلاحات جذريه توفر لها الاستدامه وتساعدها في مواجهه تحديات واداره مواردها الماليه. البداية الصحيحة للتغير والإصلاح تبدأ من إعادة النظر في هيكلة الهيئات التأسيسية وآليات عملها وواجباتها وعلاقاتها المؤسسية مع بعضها البعض ومع الأمانة العامة للمنظمة. The need of WMO and, and, and the national meteorological and hydrological service expertise is uh, rapidly growing and we have to respond to this growing demand and, and, and we have to also see how we could uh, organize the things in such a way that it's, it's most effective uh, how we serve the interest of, the, of our members. And, and then we have also a large amount of uh, uh, partners in the UN system who are really uh, demanding the expertise of, uh, of WMO. So far I'm, I'm very pleased to see that uh, there's a common understanding how we proceed and, uh, and everybody understands that there's a great uh, opportunity to make this, uh, this, uh, this reform to happen. So WMO is the second oldest United Nations uh, organization we were established as IMO all in 1873. And uh, now it's time to bring WMO, this old and uh, famous organization, to the 21st century. And that's why we call this reform WMO of the 21st century.